everyone. This is Jackie Cooper with J. Cooper Travels. And today I have a really important guest on who's going to be talking a lot about tax planning. How do we save? How do we think about, you know, both the day to day as well as the future? Because again, a lot of times we are in the moment, but we're not always thinking about what happens down the road. And so this is a really important topic, no matter what your age, it's really important to think about planning because when we're younger, we don't think about the retirement side. And when we're older, we're thinking about it, thinking what should we have done when we're younger? So, you know, it's a cycle. And I know that when I was younger, um, I wasn't taught this information. So this is really important for everyone to kind of take a listen, see what you know, see what you need to know, and then definitely connect with my guest today. Um, for those that might not be familiar with uh, what I'm doing, uh, Jay Cooper Travels Talk Show, I wear a lot of different hats, as many people might know, but um, J. Cooper Travel started because I'm a certified travel agent, so I help you with bookings as well as your travel insurance, but obviously COVID happened, so travel kind of paused, and I have over 15,000 connections on LinkedIn, so I was meeting all these wonderful people, and I decided, okay, let me have J. Cooper Travels be about their stories. So it's all about how do we travel now in our life, both personally and professionally, career-wise, family, spiritually, however you want to define it. And that's why I have so many wonderful guests on who can kind of help you with planning how you want to travel and have the quality of life that you would like. Um, I know today that uh, John is going to be sharing with us a lot of important information. Definitely stay to the end of the talk. Definitely like and subscribe. Uh, there'll be other um, add-on information that I'll be sharing in the um, at the back end of this talk show. So definitely stay to the end. John, how are you doing today? I'm fabulous. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead? And I know that... Um, your company is involved with a lot of different things. Why don't you go ahead and share with everyone the name of your company and definitely how to reach you? Because at the end of this, I know that they're going to want to uh, connect with you. Sure. Uh, I'm John Oldham. I'm the founder of Concierge for Advisors. And if you wonder what we do, we're actually kind of like a pharmaceutical rep. Uh, if you think of it, we go in between where the where the pharmaceuticals go from the manufacturer to the doctor. We do that in the financial services industry. And we actually distribute a wide variety of products and educate advisors across the country. Uh, that's what my team does. But really what I spend my day doing is working with end user clients, probably the same people that you work with. And we do tax and lifestyle planning for them. And uh, my company that we've developed for direct to consumer is called the Paid Up Lifestyle. With the Paid Up Lifestyle, goes right hand in hand. And I talk to people every day, uh, Jackie, about these questions. I just ask um, what people ask me, what's a paid up lifestyle actually mean? And I say, well, let me ask you a question. If you don't know how much money the government is going to take from you, how do you know how much money you actually have? And if you don't know how much money you actually have, how do you ever get comfortable with spending any of your money let alone to travel or anything like that, because way too many people are living a retirement of worry, worrying about their money, or on the opposite side, some people are just spendthrifts and they go crazy with everything and realize halfway down the path that they uh, don't have what they thought they had. So again, if you don't know how much the government's going to take, how do you know how much you have? If you don't know how much you have, how do you create a budget? If you don't create a budget, how are you ever confident and able to live off of the retirement that you need? So um, and we find this just in case retirement that so many people live. And I joke with our clients all the time about it. I said, you know, Jackie, you're never going to hop on the cruise and go to Alaska, or you're not going to go see Hawaii, or you're not going to go all the places you've ever done because you're worried. But guess what happens? You get to the end of your life and you pass away. You know what the kids do? The kids book their cruise to Alaska with the money that was left over. They go to Hawaii and they go all the places that you should have been going while you were alive, but you don't you do that because you don't have the right plan. No, it's true. Um, how can people reach you uh, directly if the they easy, want to contact you? The easiest way to find out about what we're about is to go to one of our webinars. And the easiest way to get to our webinars is go to bepaidup.com, www.bepaidup.com. And when you go there, you can register for our weekly webinars, our live webinars, interact directly with ourselves and our team and see what we're all about. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now. 
uh, with uh, the government and inflation and printing of money and taxes and all the crazy stuff. We try to spend a good hour uh, together letting you get a handle on that where you can actually make strategic decisions for you and your family. But the easiest way is to go to bepaidup.com and uh, sign up for one of our webinars. And if, if uh, you are listening and you don't have paper and pen and you think you can't remember that, um, don't worry. It's going to be in the, the block below the, the talk show. So all you have to do is go back to J. Cooper Travels and you'll be able to find um, the conversation that John and I are having and the link will definitely be there. So um, I know that, you know, we all want to be financially sharp and we want to have our money work for us. And we want to think about, you know, being debt-free, tax-free retirement. Um, are there any tips or hints that you can um, share that you um, sometimes um, advise, granted, you know, everyone is a little bit different, but yeah. what do you, what do you suggest that people look for and why, why should they think about connecting with you for um, more in-depth specific information for them? Sure. Um, well, just like anything, it's quality of advice. In every industry, there are people that are actually significantly superior in some fashion to others. It could be an amount of wealth if you take a look at that. You know, there's a difference between being rich and being you know, uh, Steve Jobs rich, right? There's a difference in being um, you know, a good basketball player and then being you know, Giannis uh, you know, MVP caliber. So there's always measures of everything. But what we find so many people is they look at their quality of advice from a very small circle and they do it so much as by proximity and what we've learned is that with covid and shutting things down and people are much more open to seeking out advice and quality advice that are not met by boundaries so so many people are when they work with somebody it's because oh they're just down on the corner and i've always known them and they're a nice person or that type of thing but are they actually the person that you really are making life and death decisions with. Because for instance, if you're looking at, at athletics, if you have a $50 million contract to play basketball and you tear up your knee, there is one doctor that every single person goes to. And you probably have heard his name. It's on Sports Center. It's in the main scenes. It's Dr. James Andrews. Everybody goes to him. He's worked, he's operated. If you have a famous athlete that has had surgery, He's going to be the guy that has done it 99% of the time. Why? How many orthopedic surgeons are there in the country? Why does everybody go to them? Well, not everybody does, but everybody that has a $50 million uh, uh, riding on that decision goes to somebody that for the best of the best, right? If, if you have one chance to get something right, you're calling in a different level of expertise than just general. But with retirement, you only have one chance to get it right, right? If you, what do you do? You get retired and you're halfway through and you realize you have half as much money and you get to call the, call the uh, boss back and say, hey, remember, I mean, can you throw that other person out of the office and put me back in there and pay me my benefits and my salary and all that stuff back again? It doesn't work that way. So if people don't get the right quality of advice, that's going to be the biggest issue. And general practitioner financial advisors many times are, are more peddling product than actually giving quality planning advice. So how let's there's going to be different listeners that are hearing this. I mean, obviously, um, there might be individuals in their 20s, 30s or 40s, as well as in the 50s and 60s. I know that um, one of the things that you've you've mentioned offline as well is that you can retire debt free and tax free. So is there a certain product that you're using or is it, is there, if you're coming to this late in the game, how realistic is it that for that to happen? Um, what, what would you recommend to, to in different individuals who are listening? Cause they're going to be all different um, stages of their life. Sure. Um, I think it's a mentality more so than an age. Um, disciplined people actually succeed at a higher rate, right? We know that. Mm -hmm. so, um, you don't get rich by chance. You don't get healthy by chance. You don't get physically fit by chance. I mean, all those things are, are planned activities. So you have to have a mindset that's designed to 
want to accomplish something. You're not going to be able to do it unless you do. Um, but whether wherever you're at in the game, there's some key variables that you need to think about. First one is taxes. I mean, the percentage of in income that you pay in taxes over your lifetime is your largest expense. And there's ways that you can pay less taxes than you're paying. Mm -hmm. But most people don't have the, don't take the time, make the time to make that happen. We've, there was a big political argument, I think, last election cycle or two election cycles ago that Warren Buffett pays lower tax rates than his secretary. Okay, if that's a fact, that's a fact. But you know why he pays lower? There's only one tax code because he takes the time to do the planning to follow the rules of the code to his greatest advantage. If he wasn't, he'd be thrown in jail, right? So obviously he's following the code to his advantage and takes the time to figure that out. His secretary probably isn't or doesn't have the right professionals in their life to help them with that. So taxes are the big thing. Yep. You need to make sure you're dealing with taxes. The second thing, no matter what your age is, is inflation. Inflation is rampant right now. Everything that you're seeing is price increases are, are significant. And, and there's ways to dealing with that, whether you're young or whether you're in your retirement years. Um, but those are two things that we see are most often missed when we invite a, a client or a prospect to come in and speak with us is when we start asking them questions about those two things, they have absolutely no idea. They have some stuff, they got a junk drawer full of product, but they don't have a plan and an understanding of how these things work together to achieve those biggest objectives, those most important things, two of them much being taxes and inflation. I agree with you from uh, many, um, many of the levels of what you're saying, especially from the idea of planning. I mean, it's sometimes we want immediate gratification, but sometimes we need to postpone that immediate gratification for the long term. And like you said, you do need to have the proper advisor. So that way, you know that when you're putting in that what you think is um, a certain sum of money for that long term that is actually going to grow in such a way that's going to meet the quality of the life that you want. Um, I mean, like you said, whether you are trying to stay physically fit or whatever, you know, your your long term educational goals are maybe getting a master's or whatever. Those are long term plans where you know exactly what you need to do. But like you said, on the financial side, if you don't have the right advisors, then that means you might be putting your funds in a place which is not going to grow to meet the inflation that you're talking about and give you the return that you need when you decide, OK, I would like to now enjoy this phase of my life. You know, hopefully you've been enjoying every phase, but um, you're and right. Unfortunate, unfortunately, many advisors, even if they want to, they can't help you to the level that they want to. I started my career working for a, a, an agency. Uh, it's a major Fortune 500 company, but we were only able to use their products. And their products weren't the best in some cases. Some of them they were extremely good and some of them they just weren't up to level, but I was only able to use their in-house products. And what made me you know, take my career to the next level was when I had a very wealthy client that came in and really wanted to work with us, but our product lineup wasn't quality enough for them to, to do it. And they said, you know, I would love to, but I just can't based on these, these variables. So even people that have good intentions, if they're limited by the, the type of company that they represent and they're representing the company rather than you, that's a whole different scenario. So we actually work with about 100 of the top financial advisors in the country, allowing them to have access to resources from all of the top different solutions. And we believe that's extremely important. I mean, you, you don't walk into a Chevy dealer and, and they say, oh, you really should go buy a Ford, or you don't walk into a Ford dealership and they say you should go buy a Dodge. They're always trying to sell you their own stuff because that's how they get paid. Think about it. I mean, that's... If they don't sell you something, they don't get paid. Yeah. But is that really aligning with what your true interests are? And tying back into your travel, there's a, there's a, it goes around in our industry quite a bit, but it says that people on average spend more time per year planning their vacations than actually their retirement. I think you're right. I think you're right. Especially because when you're planning your travel, you're thinking short term. You're not always thinking like you do long term. Nor are you thinking about um, what happens if you 
physically are not in the same condition as you are later on. I mean, we always want to be physically thinking that we're going to always be the same, but circumstances change. So that brings up another question that um, I know I've had in my mind, and you might be able to explain it to my listeners as well. Tax savings, tax-free, tax-deferred. What's the difference between those three concepts? Sure. Let me ask you a question, Jackie. If you believe that with the deficits and everything that's going on in the government, that taxes could likely be higher in the future, if you believe that, which many people are seem to be moving that way in their mindset right now, which would be more beneficial for you and your family? Would it be more beneficial to take a tax deduction on a small amount of money when taxes are some of the lowest than you're probably ever going to see in your life and allow that to grow into a big pile of money that the government gets to control and take as much of it they want when they need it? Or would it be more beneficial for you to pay the tax on that small amount of money? grow it into a big pile of money that only you, your family, and your business would have access to for the rest of your life. And the government would have no ability to tax it or ever control it. Which would be more beneficial for you? Well, definitely. I think the second one sounds probably, if I'm thinking it through, as the the option to choose. Am I right? Yeah, mathematically, by far. Yet, what we see is most people choose number one time and time again with their actions. They're contributing into their 401k. They're taking the deduction on that little bit of money, but they're planning to let that thing grow in 30, 40 years. They're going to have to pay taxes on all of that. And if taxes are at a higher rate, that's a huge issue that they have to deal with, right? Yeah. And when I ask people those questions, when we're actually working with them a one-on-one um, across the country through our advisors and I ask them them questions, they say things like, well, I guess I never really thought about it. And it's not because it's not that people are not intelligent. People are very intelligent. You know, I'm, I'm extremely um, uh, clueless in a lot of things. I mean, I don't know how to change the oil in my car. It's not because I couldn't. I've never been trained to do it. I got an awesome guy that I just go and here you go, pay him 30 bucks and he does it. And I can focus on something else. People are capable of learning many things, but they just have to take the time to think about it. Yeah. And unfortunately, some of that falls back on our industry. You know, I accept responsibility for our industry that many times they just haven't done a really good job and, and helping people focus on, again, those big items that are going to be so important to their future. And they get stuck in this sell people stuff mentality um, that's just not helping solve the real problems. So... What I'm hearing is um, there are a few th- areas that we all need to be thinking about. We need to be thinking about our current financial planning. We need to be thinking about our retirement planning. We need to think about our income protection, um, long-term care for sure, because we don't always know how we're going to be down the road. Um, and and then um, creating the, the tax-free approach that you were talking about. Um, for those that might be listening, definitely also when you do connect back with John and his team, let them know that you've heard uh, this information through Jay Cooper Travels. But so when you go it, right to the Be Paid Up website and I'll tell you who who uh, sent you there, just make sure you put Jay Cooper down there and make sure so we know and it'll be great. Yeah, uh, because we're also trying to make sure that um, as we do follow up um, episodes that we can actually answer your questions and get you what you need to know. So is there, a, uh, again, this might not be an easy question to answer, but is there a certain amount that someone might need to be thinking about putting into um, the, the, the package that you might design for them? Or is it is it affordable to everyone, every income bracket or how, how, if someone's kind of concerned about this sounds too good to be true, what would you say to them? Well, there's a lot of opportunity. The good thing about our webinars is they cost absolutely nothing and they don't have to interact with us at all. <laughs> I mean, they get to come in they get to learn about some of the information, right. whether or not it's valuable to them, and then they can figure it out. There's a wealth of information in there and a lot of things they can do on their own. I mean, the difference is if at work, for instance, I talked about, would you rather pay the tax on a little bit of money or on the big chunk of money? Well, I'd rather pay the tax on the little money, not the big money. Well, then 
go back to work and see if you could put money into a Roth 401k rather than the traditional 401k. That's a big solution for some of those things. So there's a lot of do-it-yourself type of stuff that people can do when they figure out which way to go about. Right? But then we also work with people that have a ton of money and they want they need to take advantage of strategies. The goal is not about how much you have. It's about doing the best at what you have. But doing the best with what you have is about taking the initiative to go out and do something about it and seeking out quality advice. Be careful who you trust. I mean, consider what they're doing for you no different than a prescription that a doctor would be telling you to put into your body and make think about this. If they're telling you to buy something, how much do you really know? Is this blind faith that you have? It's crazy the amount of people that we talk to on an annual basis that have no clue what they own. And when we ask them, why did you buy it? Well, because they said so. Well, who are they? Well, the guy down on the corner. So what his qualifications, wasn't he just selling real estate last year? And now all of a sudden he's the wizard to the stock market. I mean, come on, let's, let's think about this. Why don't you go ahead and share again how people can reach out and um, sign up for the, the free webinar that you were just talking about? Sure, yeah. Go to www.bepaidup.com. And when you go there, just type in Jay Cooper. Let them know that that's where you came from. We want to make sure that you folks that are out there that are actually seeking quality information, we know and, and we can keep track that you're coming in here because you know we want to spend time helping people that actually are looking to better themselves and put them in a better situation. And hopefully you guys have the ability with your lifestyle to be able to go out and enjoy some of the benefits uh, that we can create. I mean, if we can get the government out of your pocket, that's going to go a long way to helping you with your lifestyle. So just following up on something that you said, my background besides being doing the travel as a side business is I'm a, I, I started off as a lawyer and I career transitioned and I'm a special education teacher. I have obviously a number of degrees, but just like you said, you know, you uh, sometimes have to trust that certain individuals are going to be sharing information with you. And when I started um, working as a teacher, the, the county that I'm in said, these are the individuals that can help you with, you know, your 401k and all this other stuff. And at that point, I wasn't, this was about maybe 20 years ago, I wasn't thinking about, okay, what does this all mean? I wasn't asking the questions. You know, so I, you know, I talked to them, I said, okay, I'm going to put this amount in and, you know, what are the plans, you know, is this conservative, you know, what are these things? And so even someone like myself, who I believe myself as being educated, you know, knowledgeable, being able to ask, yeah. you know, pointed questions, we, we do, we trust that certain individuals that are referred to us sometimes are the ones that will you know, give us the information, you know, as I've been looking at um, what's going on now, I'm realizing I should have asked more questions. Maybe I should have researched this myself. You know, again, these are things that we learn as we kind of um, age. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, again, um, it's okay because, you know, you, wherever you are in the process, no matter who you are, who's listening to this, you can always get more information. I know I'm a lifelong learner, so I'm always trying to find out more and make now as, uh, as I'm older, I'm trying to make more decisions by myself, but with and, the right advisors, definitely. With what, the right and advisors. and, and, and um, I, I need to part with you here in just a moment because we have uh, another family that uh, is, is coming in for some assistance here via webcam, obviously, <laughs> but, but that, uh, but that being said, I just want to I want to leave you with a couple thoughts. First yeah, off, right. are are you doing are you following opinions or are you following following math? Yeah, I wear shirts most of the time. I wear t-shirts uh, even on our during work, and one of them says "math never lies." You know, math is a huge equalizer to everything. Mathematical figuring things out that way are is an extreme advantage. I ask people this all the time. If you take someone's opinion, I can find two successful money managers. One of them thinks that Bitcoin's going through the roof. One of them thinks that Bitcoin's going to go to zero. One of them thinks that the stock market's going to go up in 2021. One of them thinks stock market's going to go down. Whose opinion do you take? And if you take the wrong opinion, could you get hurt? And if you took the wrong opinion three or four times in a row, could you get wiped out? 
So why are you using opinions, right? Using the quality of the information that you get is so important. I mean, I had a lady that we came on with the other day, um, one of the advisors in Texas that I work with, and she pulled out a binder. And I swear that binder was this thick. And she said, I've been on a hundred different webinars. I got a note about this and a note about this and a note about this. And I said to her, I said, ma'am, you have a hundred different opinions. I said, so which one are you finally going to choose? And she kind of looked at me and I said, you're smart enough to figure this stuff out. Let's you know, use, use math to your advantage yep. and find some basic solutions. So that's what I want to encourage you guys all to do is, is seek out the quality of individual and information that you can find because information is anywhere. You can Google any term and have 10 million different responses on it, but actually math is never going to lie to you. So um, if you want to catch up with our team, just go down to bepaidup.com, sign up for a webinar, no hassle, no pressure. Nobody's going to chase you down or spam you to death. If you were, if you want additional information from our team, just raise your hand at the end of those webinars and we'll get you on to one of our certified advisors. Sounds great. And with that, I want to definitely thank you for being on. I look forward to future conversations. Everyone definitely like and subscribe. And um, let us know any other questions that you might have so we can get you the answers so you can always stay fully informed. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.